We have Ashley Sanchez. We do have a few reporters in the room as well. Already. It's gonna be tight in here, but I'll put this. Oh, What's wrong? the lighting just looks a little. It's an MRI room. So we're, we're making do what we can. <laughs> no, All right, we have Ash with us again. Please, reporters that are here via Zoom, please use the hand raise function so I can call on you to ask questions. We do have reporters in the room. We'll allow our original. Take it away. Yep. Ashley, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the goal. I got to ask first, what was going through your head when that shot came off the foot, bounced off Aubrey's hands and the net? Um, honestly, well, the feeling I had, is that what the question is? Yep. I mean, obviously it felt great. <laughs> um, it was kind of a, a shot that I felt like I didn't really have anything else. So I was just like, I'm just going to go for it. And then obviously goals of goal felt really good. But let's hear it. And, uh, what, what was it like, you know, being back in DC for the first time going to the, the wrong locker room? The whole yeah. Time? Um, it felt really weird. Um, I feel like I'm just so used to being here. So it, it definitely was a, an adjustment when you walk into a locker room you've never been into. Um, but I mean, the fans were great. And it was just, honestly, I felt really happy being back. And I felt really supported. Um, and yeah, it was really good. It was really fun. And obviously, winning is nice. So I noticed the, that you had a nice little chat pre-game with Corinne. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how much have you been in touch with her, like in the meantime? Like, what did like was this the first time catching up in a while? Like, um, no, <laughs> we still talk all the time, and we definitely keep up with what each other are doing. And I'm honestly around here a lot, so. <laughs> And, she, and did she have any fun trash talk or any jokes get in your head? No, we were just honestly thought it was hilarious. Like, it was just such a weird situation and like playing. We've never played against each other. So it was just kind of funny. I guess so the last one I have right now is just, you know, how much have you been preparing for this particular game? Has it been circled on the calendar? No, I think I was trying to take it one game at a time. But obviously, this is always in the back of your head a little bit. Um, but not until after... Um, our Chicago game was I really thinking about it um but yeah how does how does it feel to finally get this one over with you had that long off season how does it feel to finally come to Washington and just get it done and not even that just to score in out of field again yeah I think um wait sorry what's your question, question again well how does it feel to finally come here and like go through it yeah and but to get it done and get it out of the way so you can yeah. continue your season um yeah it definitely feels good I think it is something you're like dreading a little bit personally myself I was definitely dreading it um at the beginning of the week like I I was feeling like oh my gosh I just really want this, to get this over with and um it's definitely would have been easier if I played them at home um and kind of got that out of the way but um yeah I think as the days went on and it, got closer to the game. I felt more at peace with it and confident going into the game. Um, but yeah, definitely getting it over with um, was nice. When you saw the shot, was the first thought to shoot it or was it you're trying to cross? We saw the striker coming in on the inside. Uh -huh. Were you trying to cross or was it always the attempt to make that shot? Well, at first I was going to cross and then something went off my head to take a shot. Um, and so I just, I just took a shot. <laughs> I guess it was meant to be, so. <laughs> and social media is kind of a buzz with the the celebration, like the missing of the hand. Like, was that something you had planned? We all know you and Trin always had that uh -huh. tradition of always planning those kind of celebrations at those moments. Mm -hmm. um, no, it wasn't something I planned. Um, I kind of was like dabbling around in my head, like what I wanted to do, but nothing really felt right. Um, and I wasn't going to do anything. And then I just had a weird moment where I just did it. And I didn't know what I, why I did it or what. It just felt natural. And that was just what came out. Um, I guess the question I have is, what do you feel like to play against your former teammates? These are players that you practice with every day. And like this is the first time that you got a chance to play against them. What was the, what was the feeling going in, into it? Um, I kind of said a little bit before. It was a little, a little weird. Um, but very familiar at the same time. Um, but it, it was actually kind of fun, but it was it was definitely weird. You know, like I look up and I'm seeing Tara and I'm like, that's different, you know? Um, 
someone just people that I've been playing with for years and then now all of a sudden you're playing against them and it's definitely a little interesting but I think you could also play it a little bit into your advantage and you know their tendencies um and so I think it helped a little bit uh, the other question I have is, how did you feel about getting a standing ovation when they first mentioned your name in the starting 11 here at Audi Field? Um, it felt really good. Um, I definitely was kind of like, I don't know, like how the, the fans are going to react. You know, I think um, when I did get traded, there was like a lot of people who were like very supportive of me. Um, but coming into this um to Audi Field, you, you don't really know because there are a lot of Spirit fans, and I was just like, oh, now I'm on the other side, so who knows? Um, but it felt really good for the fans to um, clap the way they did and cheer me on, um, even though they weren't really cheering for our team. <laughs> Actually, you know how it's to be to have roots as a Mexican a lady and your parents from Jalisco. How do you feel in, to be here and playing in, in the in, in this type of, of match? Yeah, I think... Um, it's really important um, for me to just give off the best performance I can and be the best person I can. Um, and yeah, that's all I really try to do. Um, obviously, it's a really big honor and um, privilege. So playing at this high of a level, um, it means a lot. What is your memories that you have here with the Washington Spirit? I mean, a lot of memories, um, a lot of goals, a lot of wins um and a lot of good memories with my friends what about to play a against two trinity Rodman? no uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's definitely weird um but it was fun like we were still talking throughout the game and just having fun with it ashley i think when you were traded you know you post on social media that it was emotional for you to leave dc where are you at now with you know, your transition to North Carolina and, and leaving D.C.? Yeah, I think now I feel more like North Carolina's home and coming back, it's not really feeling like it's my place anymore. Um, I think that was what I was kind of dreading a little bit is coming back and feeling like, oh, this is like kind of where I belong and now I'm on the other side. Um, but I didn't really feel that way. Um, I really enjoy my team um, and like, how we play and what we're doing and yeah it's been six months now maybe but um every day I feel more at home in North Carolina for sure did you I know the travel schedule is probably rough but did you get to catch up with with anyone you know off the field or anything like that while you were in town um a little bit but um I plan to in the next couple of days too Victoria via zoom go ahead hi uh congrats Ashley I'm glad to see you're getting the hot foot now on the team. Um, the Courage is a team that's really close and tightly knit. And I know that, that this week probably was a bit of a tornado of emotion. Um, can you talk about what it was like to have this group around you and, and the coaching staff kind of helping you navigate going back to your old club? Europe? Yeah, I think it was obviously not a shock there was a lot of emotions going into the game but I feel like everyone was very aware of that um my coaches um, a lot of people reaching out just asking how I was feeling um but yeah my teammates the amount of comments they made just like wanting to just like beat them for for me but obviously the, for the team as well um felt really good and yeah I was just glad we got it done it seems like, you know, the team is really on a good upward trajectory um, to finish off June. I mean, you've held Orlando scoreless, you know, you took three points, you know, and then got three by Chicago and then three points tonight. Um, how are you guys feeling going into, you know, the, the Olympic break? Yeah, I think we're feeling good. Um, things are starting to come together and we still have a lot of additions coming. Um, but I think we're in a really good place right now. Um, and we're just going to keep building off that. And I think our performance will continue to get better. Appreciate your time, Ashley. Thank you. Jason. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm kind of curious, um, in this game, you know, the Spirit were just saying that they were having a little trouble um, maybe finding the switches that they were looking for, and they knew your overload was going to be um, kind of a problem for them. Um, can you explain how you as a, as a group, you managed to kind of slow them down and, and deny them that access to the middle. 
Yeah, I think honestly, we just had really good defensive effort. Um, we were tr obviously trying to keep ourselves very narrow and have them play out um, on the wings and just keep them as wide as possible. And I think we did a really good job of that. Apologies if it already was asked, but um, it looked to me from the press box like you were going for goal on your shot. It wasn't like a cross for someone. Um, what what did you see moments before that? Well, I was going for a cross at first, but I didn't see a runner, but apparently there was a runner there. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> so I was just like, okay, just take the shot. Like something just went off of my head. So I did. And then I thought it was going wide. And then at the end, it kind of started to go towards goal. And I was, wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Um, and then yeah, it was just one in the back of the net and it felt good. Uh, have any chance to hit any of your spots in town or have you not even had time yet? Um, I did go to Tate this morning. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was always the first thing on my mind as soon as I get here. So um, I did do that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. I think uh, last question is uh, what what's the uh, friend friendship bracelets there do you have? Oh, I don't know. Someone just handed me this. I had I had no idea whose names were on it. I just put them on my wrist. One that said Croy. Oh said, no, yeah. Give you a friendship No, that no. It says Selena and Croy. I don't know. I just got handed. <laughs> Honestly, I assumed it was for me and Trin, so I just put on my wrist. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any idea why those are on my wrist right now. <laughs> you left DC before you found some tacos. Did have you found any in North Carolina? Well, I've been hitting a lot of food trucks up. There is a lot of food trucks and those have been really good. I haven't found any restaurants, but I have heard that there's a really good one that I haven't tried yet. I don't know. Gonzo, <laughs> no, no. Gonza, our sponsor. <laughs> You look on the taco <laughs> what about if your parents heard that that you do you like homemade food tacos or um... oh um <laughs> yeah well if my grandma was making it i would love it um even my dad my dad makes some really good food um but yeah if we're if we're going like home cooking or going out i would definitely say my grandma for sure and what is your favorite taco pack? i'm curious Ooh. I would just go with Asada, like, just keep it plain and simple. Um, sometimes I do dabble with a little out the store, though, mm -hmm. if I'm feeling crazy, <laughs> if I'm feeling really crazy. <laughs> Wild. All right. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Thank you. Good shower. Appreciate everyone coming in. Thank you all.